here I am just installing a soldier here and then a prop and just at each end I'll do this to keep it from rocking and rolling either way and so it'll still free up the middle to come up to the height that we need it to. I want to get this brace as close to the top as possible. So what it does, maybe about 10 mil down from the top. Making sure that we angle our nails. some opposing force. You can see there, that's not coming out. I'll get a soldier here. Now this is when a gas gun is priceless. You do not want to be doing uh, running an air gun up in the roof space like this. The dust that it kicks off is just horrible. It's already dusty enough up here. You don't want to make it even harder. It's already hot enough up here. You don't want to make that even worse with that floating dust. So just stick to a gas gun. If you just stick to a gas gun if you can. There we have it. There we have a beam in place, angles on each end, a couple of soldiers just to hold it, can't slide in or out, back or forward or sideways. So from here, what we need to do is cut in our underpeel and prop. So if we copy the same shape as the one that we had previously, which I'm hoping that Matt has done, we should be okay, because then we've got a really nice housing joint as well over it. So 